the hot man, Steve Sanders. Little grim faced, but he's got a lot of hard work in front of him and a lot of concentration. Well, the moment of truth has arrived. All that training and all that hard work now going to be put into practice. Two prods of the Rothmans Honda machine and Steve Saunders is underway. Time just to look left to make sure there's no traffic coming. And onto the first lap and that infamous swollen river and a really fearsome rock section coming out into the sky. Looking up, rather worriedly, number 14, Yorkshire's own John Lampkin on the fan tip. A nice, steady approach. A lot of interested spectators and, of course, a lot of other riders watching him. But some long, hard prodding then to get the Fantic in the right position. John Lampkin really should you be used to rocks of this size and this nature. Turns well, but another prod of the machine. And now the really difficult climb out. Lampkin working hard at it, almost there, and climbs away. And earning some well-merited applause from the large crowd. Really, the view from the top of this section, better for holiday makers than probably motorcyclists. And this is number six, Tony Scarlett, another lad from Great Britain, on the Yamaha. And he makes a very good start to the section. But it's this nasty climb out that's catching everybody out. Oh, but some tremendous work there by Scarlett, and the crowd again, rise to the young British rider.